Good evening, ladies and gems. I said, good evening, ladies and gems. That's better. Well, some of you may already know we have a fabulous singer here at Neptune's tonight, Benidorm's favourite, Sean Foster Connolly. But before that, we have an old friend of Neptune's who'd like to say a few words. Let's give it up for Nodding! What's going on? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, there have been many times in my life when I've been proud of my only son, Jeff Maltby. She's me PA. His many achievements in life have been impressive and varied, from Lancashire indoor hang gliding champion to the only double winner of the Orm Skirt Meat Plate Fighting Competition without the need of hospitalisation. <laughs> but these brave accomplishments pale into insignificance when I tell you that tonight the night is finally decided to stand tall and announce that he is a wonderful, happy, proud gay man. You what? Well done, son. And this one is for you. You're in a new town, there's no need to be unhappy. Young man, there's a place you can go, I said. Young man, when you're short on your door, you can stay there. And I'm sure you will find many ways to have a good time. It's fun to stay at the Sit down, gay boy. Listen to your mama. <laughs> YMCA. You can get yourself clean, you can have a good... No! Watch out for you. No! Go, man. I said, young man. I said, young man. You can make real your dreams, but you've got to know this one. By himself, I said, young man, put your pride on the shelf, go there, to the YMCA, and I'm sure they can help you today. Watch where you're going. Sorry. Now, a round of applause for Clive. I'd like to dedicate this song to my wife of 20 years. And I mean every, every single word.
Message to his wife. <coughs> Apologies to any children listening. We do have some unscheduled entertainment later on, but while we wait for that, play some music, Darren. Congratulations. What kind of a song was that for a man to sing for his wife? Well, I've always said honesty is the best policy. Yes, but where's all the romance in the world? That's what I'd like to know. I mean, here you're sitting with a complete stranger on your 25th wedding anniversary. The world's gone mad. Oh, I don't know. People don't have to live in each other's pockets. Sometimes absence makes the art grow fonder. I'd like to thank Noreen for all the support over the years. I'd like to thank Noreen, my PA, for all the support over the years. Albert Einstein once said that. And what was Swahili for? No worries, it was a kumbatata. Where have you been? You've been gone ages. Toilet. We've been reading the answers out. Give me a formality. Now the bit you've all been waiting for oh, in on. third place on 27 points is the Powell family from Staffordshire. Oh, great. Well And in second place with 29 points is Jeff Mulby, also known as the Oracle. Woo! Second. Second. Our winners of the quiz tonight on 30 points from Lancashire is the Garbies. No, 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 no. points, it's a tie! You had Whispering Grass as John Estelle and Winsor Davis. The answer is Ink Spots. They both had it with it! Huh? You've got it wrong! You, you made a mistake! Oh, hey, 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 lad! Just give it to me, I'll show you! Get off! What are you giving it to you? Hey, hey, Gordo, get off the stage! Get off me! Oh. Get off me! Nobody beats the Oracle! Get off the stage, fat boy. You lost. Just admit you don't know everything, okay? Muevete, coño. Hey, hey. I might not know everything, but I know all about you. You've been shagging everyone. <gasps> Him sat there. Yeah, you sat with Mr. Blobber. Oh. Her sitting down there. Hey. Look, oh. he's trying to book me now. Oh. Get off oh. me, you Spanish oh. punk. I've got his tablets, he'll be all. Come on, Rico! Pop music, Jackabow! Pop music! What is he wearing? Everybody made him! I suppose you could say he's made an effort. You should try it sometime. No, if I end up looking like that. Check out! Pop music, check out! Pop music! I mean, he's actually not a bad mover. Right. It might help us if you define the word bad. You need everybody, check out! Pop music, check out! Pop music, check out! Pop music! Quite sexy in some ways, isn't it? Talk about! I'm sorry, are we all looking at the same thing? 
Don't get me wrong. He's not conventionally attractive. But I have been known to go for some unusual types in my time. You don't say. Loud and clear! On the head back! Oh, no! Thank you very much. I like to dedicate this to a very special lady who over the last few weeks has made me feel like a very special man. Too tight. You don't think he put yours on by mistake, do you, Matt? <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt, but I just wanted to apologize for my son having a go at your husband today. Oh, he's not my husband. He's he's just a friend. Well, an acquaintance, really. Hardly know him. Oh, right. I just didn't want it to spoil your holiday. No, don't be daft. It was just a misunderstanding. Well, it can get a bit out of control. When he was luckily had one of them leather crash helmets, you know, to stop him nutting the wall. But it don't fit him anymore. Well, they grow so fast, don't they? Maybe. Before I end the mic back, there's a small announcement I'd like to make. As some of you know, yesterday I had an accident in the pool which nearly took my life. It's times like this that make you realize that life is not a rehearsal, this is it. And yes, I've made a success of my life. I've got five sunbed shops in Manchester. <laughs> But I think it was Charles Manson who said, you're not living life to the full if you're living it alone. I know my late wife, Nellis, who died in a crazy paving accident in 1979. You are? 
will be smiling down on me now, as I say, Madge, Delilah, Baron, will you marry me? F***ing <gasps> hell! Yes. Yes, I'll marry it. <laughs>